All right, all right, back with uh, one shoe Magoon again. This guy here in the Disco Ass Blazer and uh, Captain Valium over here, Mr. Kitsuragi. Absolute frenzy of a man. Um, back in the room. I mean, the story so far is one shoe here with his yellow gloves and one shoe. What you know, he just went off. He's a policeman. He just lost his mind. He's been in this room. He's got drunk for days. He's been wanking. He's been all doing all sorts. He's a crazy man. Crazy man. Crazy man. Uh, and then, you know, some stuff's gone on, there's a guy out in the back in a tree, he's been hung by maybe the dockers, you know, that's devilish, devilish times, Mr. Kitsuragi's coming along to help me, he's from some sort of precinct, and yeah, we're back up in a room, I was thinking I was going to try and seduce Mr. Kitsuragi, no, let's go, like, let's go in here, oh, let's have a look at this, what time is it, 11.26, a mirror hangs on the wall, covered in steam. I didn't want to look at that. I you wanted to look at this. You see yourself. Just the outlines of a man. You have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Okay, husky. Husky voiced Fred, whatever. Wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Yeah? What happens? Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. Yeah, I don't want that. Get away. So I'm trying it. Right, this thing, is this a door? Uh, yeah, it is a door. What have I got a key? I don't think I have, but let's have it. what's this? Find smokes and smoke them. Fantastic. What's this? My thought cabinet. Oh, for God's sake. What is this? Jesus, a lot of stuff. Right, so let's just move on. Come on, Mr. Kitsuragi, let's get out of here. The mirror just told me not to bother with my mind. Right, on the case we go. I think we're going to try and sneak into the docks. The door is closed. Still nothing. Look, open up, it's the police. No? The lieutenant gives you a quick glance. Don't look at me, Mr. Kitsuragi. He doesn't like where this is going. You should punch a fucking hole in it. Jesus. Punch the door. You slam your fist <laughs> into the vinyl. <laughs> He's it does not off. produce a hole. The door sits sturdily in the frame, and your fist hurts. This was all a very good, normal thing to do. Stop that. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Mr. Kitsuragi. All sorts of stuff has happened already. Mr. Kitsuragi. Right, on we go. I go watch the news from Mr. Kitsuragi, yeah. Alright, alright love. Oh, what adventures await us today. Right, let's go back to Frit. I've got a bit of money now. Got some shit in Frit. Come on, skeet skeet. I'm gonna move on one shoe. That just said if I was short on money, I can go collect bottles. Fucking hell, I'm a police officer for God's sake. Welcome to Frit. Feel free to look around or something. Everything is out on the shelves. Yeah, just... What's that magazine she's reading? I know what it is. It's a uh, special girl magazine. Um, how do I buy a, a raincoat? Um, okay. 
I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but... Why are you holding your book the wrong way around, woman? Um, I don't really know anything. I mean, I know it's there, but I haven't seen it, so... Uh, do you know who man who died? Come on, not let's get into some really. serious detective work. Not really? Does it mean you knew him a little? Um, no. I didn't know him at all. Um, well, I found. Uh -huh. Absolutely useless. I don't even know what we're doing in here, Mr. Kitsit Draghi. What's this here? You see several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants and juice bottles. The raincoats are transparent, except for the big Fritta slogan on the back. It's called Fret, mate. Uh, let's see if I can buy it somehow. Here you go. Oh, brilliant. What's that? Point of the raincoat? Nah, let's not bother. Let's not get into all hijinks already. What's it give me? My raincoat. Want to endurance? Yeah, we'll need that on my special mission. There we go, yellow boy! God, you don't look well. Right, let's... Abort, abort, abort mission. Abort, abort. Whoa. You look fantastic, uh, aren't you? Gotta say. Need to do something behind Lieutenant Kitsuragi's back. Sneak out after he's gone to sleep. That's the best advice, yeah. Well, let's go see the Huckster, man. He's up. He's up to no good. The Huckster. He's got to something. Someone got to know something around this fucking town. His body hanging in a tree. Small boy from rocks in it. Jesus. Right, this guy. I'm a gander and a hunter and a gatherer. Feel like a traveler. Nice. From another planet. Hey there. Alright, mate. This guy's alright. He's got a bit of. Uh, I am the law. You sure are, my man. <laughs> What's going on here? It's the jam, my man. What's the jam? It's a traffic jam for the ages. Harbor gates up the street are shut tight. No explanation given. Workers on strike, scabs agitating, an all-around clusterfuck. Hmm, sounds like. Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long-haul limbo for days upon days upon days. Upon days. Upon days? Oh, cool, leave. <laughs> yeah, fuck off. I've had enough of you already. Don't look at me. Come on, Mr. Kitsuragi. We'll use our police skills to, to find some sort of way into the harbour. And then we'll just steal a ladder, take the body down, ship you back in your magic car. What more do you want? Let me just think about my life while I stand on this box. What's that? stands in the middle of the traffic island, pointing toward the sea. It looks as if it's been reassembled piece by piece, secured and mounted in the air, with the aid of numerous ropes and rods. Who is this? Mr. Kitsuragi, Lieutenant Kitsuragi of the services. A silver plaque on the statue's pedestal oh, reads, I, just myself. I am Philip III, the squanderer. The greatest of the Philippian kings of Revachal. Son of Philip the Second, the opulent. Father of Philip the Fourth, the insane. Not a good track record of mental health in that family. Encyclopedia's low, I won't bother. I don't know anything about anything, it seems. Leave. When the going gets rough, just fuck off. Always been a ticket. So. The small, wrinkled woman does not greet you. She nods along to something on her radio. A photograph is clutched in her hands, and there is a warm smile on her face. 
There's something going on in this uh, town as well. Like Mr. Kitaragi was saying, don't shoot little Jimmy Hopkins the other day, you know, earlier in this day. And like he would release his soul and he didn't want to release that type of chaos into the world or energy into the cosmos. So, yeah, I gotta, yeah. What is this woman? I don't know what's got to do with this woman, but if I'd say it. Right, let's crack on. It's the warmth of a winter night's fire. Maybe she could give you comfort and shelter. Some cigarettes and food money. Maybe she's your... Snap your fingers in front of her face. Oi. Wait. What is it? Captain. She's just a distracted old woman. Better to leave her alone. Why? Why? I just told you why. If you say so. Oh, if you say so. Mr. Oh God, he just... <laughs> Crikey. What's going on down here in this derelict dark passage? Oh, it's a ruin. Look at that. What kind of place do we live? Mr. Kits, said I. Right, let's go investigate here. Someone will know something. Oh, look at this bin. Right, alright everyone, it's uh it's uh once you were again, just just easing on by a minute. Let's go in here. It says grey. Grey. What's this? It's okay. I might as well stay consistent. I am the law. Yes. People get that you are the law. You really don't have to keep saying it. I don't think you I don't think you understand, Mr. Kitaragi. We need to just tell these people exactly what's going on. Right. Hold up and stay frosty, everyone. Cops are here. Yeah, that's right. Everyone get down. Then party. <laughs> Uh, he's a f this broad-shouldered alpha male turns to you. He's a full head taller than everybody else here. Yeah, I can see that. You here to fuck with us? Beat the honest worker down? No, I am not. Good. We're fighting for a cause here. Right to work. Right to work. Okay. Besides, we're not that different. It helps if people see us talking. Cops and strike breakers together. Shows authorities are on our side. Builds confidence. Right, I need the confidence to sneak into your uh, warehouses and take your stuff. What kind of cause are we talking about? Regardless, I have some questions for you. Yeah. Maybe you should ask them the questions. Like, why we're not allowed to make a living here? Shame on you! He bellows to the gate. Don't, why have I got a narrate for you? Where's, where's, uh, where's Candyman? Right. We have families to feed, you piece of shit. I got kids to feed. Okay. So do we, Scott. Call me Manana. I want to get into the harbor too. Right, yeah, they want in. We want in. This is probably have the best fun. way. Union shits are on full strike. Don't think they're going to let you through the gates. I'm trying to meet their fat boss. Uh, this is an official matter. Yeah. I'm into. No, I'm going to ask him. I, I reckon this guy knows something. I'm interviewing the people. People about the people about a murder that took place behind the silver gun in or whatever it's called. I know nothing about a murder. Yeah, you're up to something. The mention of a killing sends a barely noticeable shiver of tenseness through him. Interesting. Uh, why so tense, big boy? What are you talking about? I'm not tense. 
Uh, you are Roddy McDowell. Yes, he's tense. Wait, that's Detective Eyes, this guy. Right, let's look at him. What's his, what's his, what's Mr. Kitsuragi thinking right now as he peers at him through his glasses? So he's a big guy. He's pointing over there to something. He's got a jacket. What's, he's, what does that mean? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I mean. Any of it means. Let's see what's going on. And dangerous. Somewhere below it all. Well, yeah. He's wearing a big skirt. Something fucking slightly annoying. Right to work! It's shameful. Cops doing nothing. You should bring back up. Open up the gates for us. Blockading gainful employment for workers is a crime. Uh, sure, why not? Why not? I see numerous reasons not to pick a side in this local matter. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Why are you talking about Mr. Kitsuragi? I'm just trying to have a bit of fun. Well, stop it, me, you freak. Pity. Let us work! Crack on then, go tidy up. There's a bottle over there I can see. You could go pick up. You know, there's a start. Just stood there waving. Useless. Son of a... What exactly is your goal here? We were promised work. We'd be in there, working, huh. if the bastards hadn't shut the gates. And you are unable to breach the entrance. Main gate's locked. Would take heavy ordnance to bust it open and try to get in through the secretary's office. Door is locked. The guards blocking the way to the access panel. Right, let's see. Could try to get in through the secretary's office. He points up the stairs. The guards blocking the way to the access panel. Okay. And I don't mean the scrawny mess punk either. I mean head measurer. Or whatever he is. Uh, head measurer? Huge Seminese guy standing up there on the overhead passage. Won't let anyone by. The access panel is right behind it. <coughs> okay, right. Let's think about this now. Uh, how bad could one guy be? Bad. Standing on a narrow bridge, he's got a strategically advantageous position. And he's trained. Okay. I don't know how the Union has a trained killer up there. But that one's no joke. And my men are tired and hungry. They're workers, not fighters. Have you considered storming in? Like all of you? Or all, a lot of you? Why don't you? Go arrest them instead. I'm sure they've done plenty of criminal shit. They have that look. So basically, you're just gonna stand out here doing that? It would be better for the neighborhood if you went home. At least for now. If you can't get in anyway. Ah, the wise words of Mr. Kitsuragi. No! Whoa. They will give up eventually. Or get drunk. Leave the button unguarded. Then, we charge. Yeah, I'm just going to leave now and take all my ideas with me that you just told me. What do you think of it, Mr. Kitsuragi? I think you should know that I can't remember anything. No response. He just arches his brow. Okay, forget the it. moment passes. Right, so... I mean, so, let's just go, go over here a minute, just think about something. What's this? Where's my Pyrolodon? One Psyche, minus one health. Uses. Okay, we got the Pyrolodon. That'll come in handy when I need some sort of Psyche business. What's that? All of them, is it? All ones to Psyche. Amazing. Right, so I don't know what to do, Mr. Kitsuragi. Don't know what to do. Headless necklace horse doesn't know what to do. Who knows what to do? We'll just continue on, continue on, skeeting around, looking for stuff. Let's go report. Let's go back to this guy. Welcome back. Uh, Days so, ain't going by any whoa. faster, believe me. So how long have you been here? 
gray face. Feels like forever. Like I was Gray born face. on this here roundabout and this was all I ever knew. Just me and the metal and the tires, the oil and the fumes of mazout. Extravagantly furries, but I can roll with it. Yeah, imagine. It's been a whole week already. Continue. Behind the laugh, however, a touch of sorrow. Yeah, he seems to sort of full trap. So tell me, what do you need? Got any smokes on you? Nope. Don't smoke. He nods towards the big body behind Some him. Some of the other drivers do, though. There's still a few around, waiting for the jam to disperse. Or waiting for the sweet release of death. Charming. Yup. Nothing wrong with that statement. Your senses have nothing to add. You left the ask around elsewhere. Right. Guess I'll ask around then. You could also check the kiosk down the street. For it. With three T's. Rebel Shaw's weird. <laughs> Care to spare some change for the working stiff? Huh? Oh. No, I ain't got any money. They don't want to pay for unfinished work. They? Who? The bosses, man. Uh... Makes sense. First work, then pay. Makes sense. It sucks is what it does. Maybe don't tell people. The people they don't like are actually right. Uh, what are you hauling, anyway? Oh, high-grade narcotics, illegal firearms, stuff like that. Oh, we got a joke on our hands, Mr. Kitaragi. Squint at him for a bit. Time to arrest him. You're under arrest. Ha! No, I'm joking, my man. Found runs a nice, clean business. This haul of cargo is mostly sporting goods. You know, tracksuits and that kind of thing. Oh, yeah, so you work for Mike Ashley, do you? They usually get shipped to Grad in the Occident. Though we've been making headway in the Il Moran market lately. Could I get one of those Falm tracksuits you're hauling? We're pals and all, but I can't just freely hand out the merchandise. The bosses won't be happy. Could I get one of those Falm tracksuits you're hauling? We're pals and all, but I can't just freely hand out the merchandise. The bosses won't be happy. Could I get one of those Falm tracksuits you're hauling? We're pals and all, but I can't just freely hand out the merchandise. The bosses won't be happy. All right. I have another question. The man taps his fingers rhythmically against his arm. Hmm, okay. Know anything about the dead man? He ain't one of us drivers. I know that. All accounted for. Otherwise, I haven't really asked about that. Been wasting time right here. Keep him busy. Uh, busy with what? Analyzing the fundamental structural and psychological conditions of being stranded in the midst of a sea of motor lorries. And their sad, despondent chauffeurs. And your conclusion on this matter? A sense of surprise there ain't more bodies hanging from more trees. Oh, God, just Don't get away. Stranger. Tommy Laham. Fucking Peppy the Pew. Get the fuck out here, you fucking weasel. Jesus, run, Mr. Kitsuragi. This man stinks of everything. Who's that over there? Man having a shit or something. Oh, man watching a man having it. What's that? Some sort of structural thing. What's that? Some sort of vapor. Hello? Oh, hang on. My spidey senses are tingling. Captain. Kitsurigi. Kits the spirited chirps and clicks of swallows. Hello, right, mate. I don't need to excuse you having a Life. big shit, hello? Fucking hell. Doesn't need to be a struggle. He covers his mouth to hide the burp. I'll be with you in a moment, officer. Let me just finish my sandwich. Talk to Angry Hog René first. I'll talk to him, I want to. Who's that? Ray Mysterio? Have you no shame? Jesus! Some sort of intergalactic every time you bring out the measuring peddler. <laughs> what did you just say to me, you freak? Have you no shame, the man says to his wine and about to what the hell's going on. René, you are a man with a fork in a world of soup. Please, let's just try to enjoy the game, all right? This one's still chewing on his sandwich. We have met a right bunch of characters over here. I'm trying Whoa. to, but you keep breaking my concentration. You're old. I can see that. We're both old. 
Now stop grabbing your ass like it's a girl. Yeah, Fred. <coughs> These manly oh. men are playing balls. This is a ball game. Grab a ball and play it. Don't ask questions. Shoot first. Ask questions never. Yes, I agree entirely. Let's go. It's ball time. That's the spirit. Don't even waste your breath asking about the game. They wouldn't know anyway. They're way past their prime. What's what we show these old geezers now? It's done. Let's go. Yes, one shoe magoon again, winning the ball game. Oh, go on, son. You are immediately surprised by the ball's lack of weight. No matter, you'll make it work. Watch this, Ray Mysterio. Straight in the hole now or whatever. God, this is right. You feel the familiar tremble of excitement and adrenaline that precedes every victory. Time has frozen. Be the ball. Let go. Boom. Merde! Bordel de merde! You fucking shot at me. What the hell is your problem? Oh, what's happened to over here? Problem? I don't understand. Vandalize our game, son! We can't play petonk with five bull! <laughs> P-Tank? Yes, petonk! You ruined our petonk game! We want our bull back! <laughs> Uh, forget about it, mate. Take it easy, Rene. Tell him. This is just a Mine. misunderstanding, isn't it, officer? No harm done. Of course there's harm done, you oil slug. You are as a goddamn bull. Listen, guys, the ball is gone, and I have a murder to solve, alright? Yeah. Ah, uh, no. I fucked the ball game up, man. Let's go get it. Good. Mistakes are forgiven. When men at least try to right their wrongs, I believe you will try. Now, why did you approach us? Well, I was just caught unawares by your absolutely fantastic hat. Sort of duck hat, Bill, thing, and your, your strange attire. You're absolutely fucking weirdo. Just talk. It'll smooth things over. Old people like attention. Yeah, see, this guy knows his stuff. Um, you seem to be playing in a crater. Oh, here we go. I'll, I'll word them with my tricks. Uh, I saw the statue of Philip III near the roundabout. Ah, yes! King Philip III on his steed. A reminder of what Revachel once was. What was it? Oh, absolutely. At the mercy of a cocaine-snorting tyrant who emptied the treasury so he could sleep on a bed of gold. Cocaine? cocaine -um? Sounds like our kind of king. And, just imagine what kind of cocaine a king would have had. Oof, I, can, oof, I don't think I can... Well, I can do it. I, I, the superpower, feared and respected. Wild cocaine. A testament to what this country can be under the leadership of a true king. What was that about? Who knows what? how to rule. You finished? What was that about cocaine? Oh, old Philip was a big fan of the purple nose candy the nobility loved so much. A cocaine connoisseur of sorts. Ah, his egocentricity is borderline legendary. Legendary. Yeah. You can't even take the responsibility for yourself. How could you fathom the responsibility weighing on the shoulders of a ruler? Mm. That's why the Philippian kings use cocaine for clarity of vision, to aid in their work. Regnum cocaineum, Revachol's finest years. He seems to go taller, brimming with pride about the past. I'm satisfied with this explanation. Yeah, so am I. Of course. Clarity of vision. Awareness. Yes. Philippe Zito was even brought into this world with the help of cocaine. The court medic administered the dose to his mother when she was in labor. And it is well known that with the help of cocaine, only the purest, of course. He was able to connect with higher realms. <sighs> okay. Higher realms. Of course, it all makes sense. 
such responsive no what was that about such responsibility requires a boost every now and then I sometimes need one too yeah uh, we've got that please officer don't encourage him do spare us the cocaine fairy tales the RCM isn't interested in them yes indeed we're not here to investigate the drug trade of centuries past <laughs> what was that about cocaine? Oh, Hall Philip, <laughs> you can't even oh, touch Jesus. my Philip. <laughs> that is, of course. Oh, it's all happening. Philip Zitter. Higher oh. realms. Of See, course. Uh, what was that about higher all realms? Makes... It's up. really not. Please, do spare us the cocaine. Yes, indeed. We're oh. not here to investigate oh, the drug trade like a... of centuries past. That weird deja vu moment. How should a true king... Oh, this is getting boring. That's right. Good. Uh, do you know anything about the man hanged in the back of the word in rags? Unfortunately, I don't. Unlike most of the locals, I have no qualms about assisting law enforcement. But this affair has passed me by completely. I'm surprised you're gallivanting out here in your strange clothes. In Martinez, the union is the law. So can you really blame them? Well, you don't have a problem with the cops? Cop is a pejorative term. I don't have a problem with policemen. On the contrary, I admire the effort to bring order to our streets. So again, you don't know anything. If I knew, I would not be afraid to tell you. I simply don't. I'm an old man, not a coward. The daily business of the riffraff no longer concerns me. This is a man with a lot of past, but little present, and almost no future. Thank you for your time, <laughs> Lee. Oh, fuck that. Well, there we go, a little auto save. That gave me nothing other than just a pair of geezers, and I've lost their ball, and now I've got to go get it. Oh, I can see the balls now, Jesus. I'm not very observant, am I? I don't see anything. These little balls here. Right, alright, next time we will continue on with the mission of finding stuff. Very good, things.